guys so here we have our third, first package of today and it's a package i'm really excited about it has some parts that i'm uh that i'm really gonna need in this mock so let's just open it up this uh this one came from uh Czechia. Uh, i don't i think it's the same in english i'm not sure but we'll see how we open this well, should be easier than i'm thinking Quite small but it has some cool parts for sure. Get rid of paperwork, so I'm just gonna grab some stuff out of here. So first of all, we have some of these. So these are gonna spice up the battlefield. I already have some light nougat studs, but these are gonna be very nice. They're gonna add some contrast. Also got more of the one by one uh dark tan uh, plates. So I think these came in the bonsai tree set. If I'm not mistaken, also got the moors. Those will be just some generic stones. So I'll place that here. Then we have some of my more of my favorite Lego color, and these are the the olive green tiles, and those are going to be very useful. So I'm going to use a lot of olive green, and these will so I can alternate between tiles and studs. So that'll look really cool. And right now my the package I was most hyped about is finally these olive green plants. So I'm gonna get probably get I uh, need to get more of these since I'm gonna have to cover a lot of area. But this is a start, and I got it for a pretty nice deal. I think 25 cents, and most of these go for 60 cents, uh, from 50 to 60 cents. So I think I got 62 of them, which looks really uh, looks like it's barely anything. So this was 18 euros, I think. But those are, uh, I don't have any of those and I really needed a bunch of those. So here we have some more. Uh, I think I'll probably ha have enough of these, but I just got some more. But then we have some more one by two olive green plates, which are gonna be very useful. And here we go. We got some more, we got some studs so I can actually create some, um, some angles instead of just uh like because i only have the four, two by four ones and the two by two uh one by two so this will be uh so i'll be able to create some more like um i don't know how it's called like in steps like uh it's pretty hard to say but we got also got some tree slopes in olive green and some tree slopes in sand green so overall we got a mostly olive green uh one because this store also have, will have 20 percent off so that helped me a lot since olive green parts are pretty expensive but I'm gonna get a bunch of these since I'll be able to use those in Star Wars mocks as well and I can't wait to finally start building Wakanda right now I'm just destroying Naboo and it's a, it's a bit of a progress but I'll get the parts from Naboo and right now we'll get to the next clip hey guys so here we have two new packages to open I'm pretty excited about these ones so I'm pretty sure this one is from Bricklink and we'll just open it up so it's always exciting to open these packages so here we have three of the shields i'm gonna need out of the 20 so that's pretty cool so that's the wakandan shields here we have the store name and the sticker a little business card as well here we have some this this was a pretty small order actually so i have a little tray here so here we have one that's hair that I'm gonna use since it's more of a ginger color than a brown color. So I'm gonna make my own one and I um, also bought a torso. And here we have my friend's uh, comic bricks uh, sick fig hair that I'm gonna use in my next mock. Since I wasn't able to make him in a boo, I made an order where he, he was in the same uh, when he was in the same store. Here we have some more of or of the sand green cheese. Uh, um, tree slopes and then some no more light nougat studs i'm gonna spread out on the battlefield just to spice it up a little more but that's it for now it's a very small package one that expensive as well so right now i have something that's pretty uh different for sure so it's not you know you'll you'll recognize when i show it so okay let's get everything out of the box first so 
it is tunnels so it is a tunnels that's accurate to infinity war since i'm not gonna use the ones that have armor and i'm pretty excited about this because it doesn't look that bad of quality but uh, there are rumors going around that there will be a new tunnels so which is also pretty exciting so uh, some people some of my friends said that he has an egg head which i kind of agree but it definitely looks uh, pretty good. I mean, I'm holding it right now, and actually, I'm quite uh, kind of surprised by the quality of it. So it's definitely gonna be very useful. I mean, it's not Lego quality, but that's literally what you expect. So I'm gonna build him real fast. And I mean, these connections are not the same, but I actually got something else. So it does come with a bad weapon. It's not not anything good at all but it also comes with an infinity gauntlet so let's just build that real quick so let's do that so here we have Thanos with the shiny chrome gauntlet which looks really cool and I, I have to say this is definitely a better choice than I can than the uh, Lego's choice but we'll still see what Lego brings as their um, official figure that's uh, accurate to end game so i hope that one is going to be good but for now i'm going to use this one it's actually way better than i thought it would be i mean it is really cheap it's like i paid two euro for the uh i paid four euro in uh, complete with these two items and shipping i don't know even if i had to pay shipping but i'm actually really happy with this and it's accurate to infinity war which is uh, kind of important to me and getting the gauntlet with all the gems the uh, infinity stones is definitely a plus so i don't have to go get them and buy them separately for like uh, more than one euro each so this is definitely a cheap option to do it i bought it on aliexpress which is a chinese website i'm pretty sure and you can buy all sorts of stuff but i'd say this is definitely worth getting definitely what uh, for what i'm going for but it does it does have some kind of egg hit that's what people say but I'm, i kind of like it so that's uh, it for this section and i'll see you in the next one hey guys so we got another package probably the last one for today's video it's a very small one but uh, it's probably it's the last one of my bricklink orders so we got a little baggie in here let me just pull everything out first of all we have three of these um, hair pieces these are uh, let me just focus please focus here we go these are Finn's hairstyle uh, Finn's hairstyle from episode 9 and also in the the Ferrari the Ferrari set then we have uh, Nick Fury's torso but I'm actually gonna use this on a sick fig of comic bricks which is my friend and uh, I also got the hairstyle in a previous segment so this is his torso piece and I believe just black legs so now I have that and then lastly pretty excited about this one since I saved a lot of money by doing this um, so let's just get it here we go which is um, Civil War Wanda Maximoff or Scarlet Witch torso and I actually have my Wanda from Civil War and that this is uh, the new hairs that I bought so now we can change it and I'll actually also show you something after this pretty oh not the same torso so probably have some different legs than the skirt but so here we have a Wanda I'm also gonna make the um, the little skirt thing that she has in dark red since I do have some Lego dark red fabric so I'll just make that myself I, I, I save a lot of money by doing this with some red uh, effects by this so I'll show you, you guys all the um, the casts or all the characters I have so far so let me just lower the camera a little bit so uh, this is the Thanos I got from AliExpress which I'm really happy about uh, with here we have my uh, custom bucket I'll just show you guys one by one so this is a, a bad version of rocket but we're getting a new rocket so why is the, act, the camera is acting up yeah let's just take another one 
So here we have Groot, Team Groot. I still need to find some better legs for him. Here we have Black Widow, but I'm actually gonna get uh, Elena's, I'm pretty uh, sure, uh, Elena's torso from the Black Widow set from the movie, um, which is a olive green one, which is more accurate. Here we have Thor, Infinity War Thor, uh, when he enters the battle, and I'll have the battle, uh, the scene where he lands with his axe. Here we have Bucky, so I'm actually gonna get uh, by the dual molded legs uh, with the, the blue and the dark brown uh, or the normal brown and I'm gonna paint my uh, own flesh arms with a with a short sleeve. So this figure is actually gonna look really accurate since the hairstyle is also different, which is a hand Solo hairstyle. Here we have Bucky and his arm is like like this so it can looks a bit more uh, accurate yeah, as holding we also have Sidious Black his hair uh, which is definitely like so cool and I, I hope the camera is focusing because kind of looks like it doesn't and then we also have Wanda now probably gonna get some better legs for her and lastly we have my one of my favorites uh, War Machine is actually it looks a bit different than the last time I showed showed you guys. So we have the micro rockets on one side, and then we also have tunnels, but you already saw him. So this is also a little preview of what the ground is gonna look like. These are the colors I'm gonna use. So we got light gray, olive green, which is my favorite color. We got sand green and dark tan and light. Uh, I think it's light nougat. So this really, this color combination is just really, I really like this. I might add some tan in the area where the river is, in a, right next to the barrier. So the barrier, um, probably gonna just put these pieces uh, instead of just the one by ones. So we're gonna have some variation. And I'm actually gonna get pulsating LED lights under this. So the barrier um, has like a pulsa uh, pulsating light under it. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really uh, hope you guys enjoyed these kind of videos. So it is my third one uh, of pre preparing for Wakanda. And actually, finally, I wanna update you guys on what my mock is looking like. So I'm almost finished, only have to do the tower. And then I'll have, be able to put that plank on uh, on this. Also got some new base plates. So I can't wait to finally start this project. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.